hey everyone and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to make a moving animation in CapCut. let's begin creating a moving animation in CapCut can add a lot of flair and excitement to your videos whether it's animating text stickers images or objects CapCut provides easy tools to bring your elements to life. So once you open the CapCut app, I want you to click the create a new project to begin your work or start from scratch. But if you have already a project in place, just click on it to begin editing. In my case, I'm going to be choosing this one and I'm going to add an overlay to add the videos and the elements that I wanted to animate. So I'm going to begin the animation by clicking this photo right here. I'm going to delete this now. So what I'm going to do is hover this maybe around just here. It's too much. Just around probably here. And then what I'm going to do is to remove the background of this motorcycle. By clicking the auto removal. All right, so let me do that. So let's try to see if we were able to do that. So we have the motorcycle removed. And then I'm going to add another overlay for the background. So I'm going to choose something like maybe this one. Let's see if what we got from here. It's too much. probably this one right here i'm gonna add this to this one okay and then what i'm going to do is make sure that they are synchronized all right and for me to be able to do that i need you to click the layers for this click the layers section There you go. So we're going to rearrange this one. So this one goes to the front. All right. And then when it's added, let me click that. I'm going to add a keyframe. For example, for the first, I'm going to drag the playhead right here. This one. The playhead. All right. So the playhead starts at this. And I'm going to add an animation. All right. Select this one. I'm going to add an animation here for this by clicking this diamond right here. All right, so I'm going to select the diamond playhead and then just around here, we're going to move this. And create a new playhead. I'm just gonna, get, gonna extend this for an hour, for a while. Make sure that they are synchronized. Add a playhead. And then just around here, I'm going to add another keyframe. And then just around here, I'm going to extend the with another keyframe. All right. And then here, probably just here, make it big. All right, so let's see what we what we have right here. And then, of course, we can add some animation. For example, this. We're going to try to create a, um, say, for example, maybe a fade in for that. This one is 
gonna be a fade out or zoom out click the play button so from the very beginning let's see what we got from here we created a cohesive video as you can see animations can make your video more dynamic and engaging and helping to hold the audience attention of course you can add movements to give your video a more polished and professional look because animations can emphasize important parts of your video like introducing text or logos and then once while at it we can add another text for example add a text here let's say um like this one go to the styles probably this let's uh, make it a little bit smaller just around here and then we can also add an animation for this text we're just gonna drag this text right here let's look for our um, overlay where's the text Now, once it's finalized, let's try to create, play the uh, animation from the very beginning so we can show off the creativity and make the, your video stand out, all right? Because animations can use to emphasize important parts of your video. And as you can see, we have created a cohesive video from here. And then once you're happy, you might want to go to the 1080 here. If you want to adjust the resolution for high definition or 4K, you can scrub it but the thing is it will increase the file size as you can see at the bottom you can also change the frame rate and of course use the optical flow it could make your video playback smoother and the code rate you can increase that which is kind of recommended for this video but the thing is the more you use all of these it requires a um a bigger file size and once you are happy with this all right you only gotta do is click the export button on top of your screen if you want to send a copy of this a video to your client for feedback or if you are a part of a collaborative environment send it to your team members or if you're working with multiple freelancers you could also use the export button to save a copy of your file in your device that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you in the next one